Hello, people of the ice. I've got this Epiphone here with a Powell Ferro fretboard, and it's so weird. The f I've polished the frets as smooth as a fret could possibly be polished, and when you do a vibrato, it still feels like gritty. And um, it's not the frets, it's the Powell Ferro wood. And it's not that Powell Ferro is a bad wood for fretboards because I've had um, fenders that were wonderful. It's just these Epiphones. Certain years, I think it was, I don't know, the other one I tried was uh, like 2018 maybe. It was a SG. But I've gone through some experimentation. That's why I've got this uh, protective tape on here. And I've discovered something that works. See this area right here, how it looks cleaner and darker? What I found out is that the wood does not need sanded at all. It's quite smooth, really. It's been buffed. But what it is, is they put in some kind of like grayish white grain filler I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here and show you. You can pick this grain filler out of here. And you can also clean it out with some acetone. Once you do that, it's real easy. See how that stuff comes out of the, the open pores of the Powell Ferro wood? I don't know if it's that stuff that, in a combination with lemon oil, creates this weird feeling on your fingers that makes it feel like it's uh, kind of like chalky. But uh, look there at the, the one section that I cleaned. It looks better, this area, and it, it doesn't have that squeakiness. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take these strings off and do, do it and show you exactly what I'm going to use. First I clean it out with a brass brush. Then I clean the area with a little bit of acetone. Take some, just some cheap paper towels, a couple drops of acetone. You don't want to take a lot of acetone and get it on the binding too much. Acetone helps pick up some of that. Um, grain filler and it removes some of the oil from the wood. Now, this is the secret sauce. The tried and true original wood finish. Polymerized linseed oil with beeswax. Get this from Stuart McDonald. And I'm just going to take a teeny bit on my fingertip and wipe it on. They say just put on a thin layer and uh, leave it for 60 minutes, come and wipe it off. And that's the trick. It makes the fingerboard look richer, browner, more a reddish brown instead of this kind of grayish, icky brown. I got a little too much on there. Anywho, I'm going to go up and down the fretboard and treat the entire fretboard. I'm not going to make you watch that whole thing. 
but we'll come over 60 minutes later, wipe it off, tune it back up and play it, and hopefully it'll feel buttery smooth to the fingertips. These are the first, first two that I treated. See how much darker they look? Continue on with pulling out a little bit of that grayish white stuff that's down in the pores. I'm trying to keep these videos to a real specific uh, repairs. Next, do a little vacuum it out. Get the acetone. oily wood and then we got the make sure it's dry a little tiny bit of the tried and true can do a second coat also on these two They're going to be way darker than the rest. brush. Cleaned with acetone and the brush. Very small layer of the tried and true. Very thin layer I should say. It's kind of got the consistency of thick honey. Instantly, the board gets this more reddish, warm color that it didn't have before. All right. Yeah, man, if you guys are having any troubles with your uh, Epiphone giving you a hard time, give this method a try. It feels really, really good. Those nice little vibrato and bends. Nice and smooth. It's like there's no resistance there anymore, you know? It's gliding nice. <laughs>